Hi guys, this is the first video of X Libraries on philosophy of physics and today we are going to discuss about some misconceptions about light. First we begin from certain silly misconceptions and then we will move on to something complicated and then to something unanswered. So watch till the end. The most common misconception about light is about its visibility. Some people believe that light is invisible and others believe that light is the only visible thing. But which statement is true? Light is visible or it is invisible? It actually depends on how you define it. This window can be defined as a half closed one or a half opened one both definitions are true it depends only on how you define it similarly if you define vision as what you see then light is invisible because you can see all the stuffs around you but not light but if you define vision as what your eye senses then light is the only visible stuff because retina of the eye senses only light so it depends only on how you define it how you choose to define it so i am leaving it to you and moving on to the second misconception and it is that light does not require a medium of propagation but light actually needs a medium of propagation as ripples are the waves on the surface of water and sound waves are the waves on atmospheric air light is the wave on space light requires the medium called space that is vacuum but how can space be a medium space is a medium because space contains fields in it as there is a gravitational field between the earth and the moon nature contains fields in it. not that field but actually the electromagnetic fields light is actually the excitations in this fundamental electromagnetic field Electromagnetic field is not the only field exists in nature. There are electron fields, the up quark fields and down quark fields. All these fields are fundamentally present in nature and the excitations of these fields create the entire reality. The excitation of electron field give rise to electrons and the up quark and down quark field give rise to protons and neutrons and these four fundamental fields give rise to the entire reality around you and quantum field theory further postulates that these excitations take place only in chunks or discrete values called quantums but will these all theories explain the wave particle duality of light actually not and that is why we are discussing the wave particle duality as the third misconception of light. On hearing that light is a particle and is a wave, people usually visualize it as a particle going in the shape of a wave. But actually, it's not. It's wrong. Because wave motion is not actually the propagation of particles. It is the propagation of waves then why people believe light is a wave it is because of the double slit experiment if you lit up two small slit using a monochromatic light then it will generate some patterns in the screen and this is entirely a property of wave if two group of waves in water are allowed to interfere with themselves then they interfere to form a pattern this pattern is called the interference pattern 
and this shows that light is a wave then why should people believe that light is a particle it is due to the photoelectric effect when light rays are allowed to incident on certain metallic surfaces electrons starts to get emitted from the metallic surfaces and this happens only if the light rays have the necessary frequency called the threshold frequency below which no matter how large the intensity is the metal won't eject electrons and this shows that light constitute of discrete packets of energy or it is made up of particles and from these two experiments we can conclude that light is a wave and it is also a particle but how can a wave nature and particle nature coexist together can science define it what is light actually a particle or a wave actually light is neither a particle nor a wave light exists fundamentally as wave functions which shows its probability of position and the act of measurement collapses these fundamental wave into quantum states and that means that the act of measurement is giving reality to the particle and this conventional description tells us that there exist two types of realities the one which exists fundamentally and the other which we perceive but if this conventional definition disinsures your logic then i can give you another brief definition light is not a wave but the particles of light are waves if you rethink this statement further you will get an answer and if you doesn't get an answer it means that you have completely understood what quantum mechanics is and if you have got an answer it means that you have successfully arrived on another misconception about light Hope you enjoyed the video and if you want more videos about the philosophy of physics subscribe to my channel see you in the next episode until then bye bye